Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Siege of Centauri. It is by Star Dock Entertainment and released on September 12th, 2019. I just got my hands on it today. I haven't actually played it yet. We're about to hop in and experience it all for the very first time. But before we do that, I'd like to see the opening cinematic, and I think all of you might as well. So let's go see it. It was the first flag we planted outside of our solar system. The entire world celebrated as colonies were founded across Centauri. It was all part of the idyllic human dream out into the stars. Until the night they encountered something else on the planet. Then we watched as the colonists sent panicked calls for help as they were murdered by dark shapes and neon lights. Now, Earth is sending us to investigate this new threat and recover the survivors, if there are any. Okay, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Let's go see if we can't uh, save some survivors from surviving and saving them and stuff and zombies. I don't know. I don't think there's zombies, but there could be. Who knows? Anyway, a big shout out and a thank you to Stardock Entertainment once again for providing me with another code to another one of their fantastic games. I'm a big fan of their stuff and I've loved working with them in the past and I'm happy that I'm able to continue to do so. That being said, guys and gals, let's see what this game has to offer. Alright, we have a campaign and endless mode some scenarios. Interesting. I'm always drawn to the campaign. I'm curious what the scenarios are, though. Ah, well, we'll go with the campaign. Maybe we'll do the scenarios after the campaign? I don't know. Our colonies at Proxima Centauri are under attack. We are being sent to help. Yeah, we are. Let's do this thing. Oh, my God. All right, so apparently there's uh, several different missions that we'll be able to eventually go through and do. Okay, I'm not sure that I... I'm used to seeing a layout like this for this type of game, but it's no different than any of the other ones. I, I like this, actually. This gives you more of a feel of what's going on and what you're accomplishing. I like this. I like this a lot, actually. All right, mission number one, Limbo. With a single path leading to it through the mountains, Limbo may be our most defensible position. As my throat tries to close up and murder me while I'm speaking, that's probably fine. All right, destroy all enemy waves. Win without your colony taking damage. I can probably do that. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing as far as, like, I haven't actually played this yet. So we're going to learn on the fly. I think it'll probably be fine. I'm sure there's going to be some sort of tutorialization going on here. Stardock's usually really good about spoon-feeding your stuff. Nothing but radio silence from the colony so far. All right. I've ordered us into geostationary orbit over Limbo. Huh. The last colony to make contact with Earth. We'll begin our rescue efforts here. Hopefully. The images we've received from the colonies are alarming. Darius Robotics fitted the Carpathia with a full suite of deployable weapons before we left. It's clearly Carpathia. And I have orders to use them if necessary. But if there's any way to avoid it, I will. The bloodless battle wasn't bloodless enough for my taste. Limbo's coming over the horizon now. The bloodless battle? Huh. Apparently there's... Oh, it just auto-started. This is our colony. Thank you, Thomas Husk. We must protect it at all costs. I will do my very best. How this do I do this? This is the region of Limbo. It is under assault. All right. This is where we expect enemies to invade from. Okay. We're picking up a swarm of machines incoming. Place some rail guns onto the plateaus to keep Ooh. them from reaching the colony. I'm a fan of rail guns. The waves will not begin until you place your first tower. Oh, good. You can take your time. To survey the map. That's always a smart plan. Good 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 call there. I like that. Alright, so achieve victory, destroy all enemies. You need lots of rail guns to hold them off. Okay. You can queue up multiple guns by holding down shift when placing towers. 
Thanks, Milton. Okay. Uh, destroy all enemy waves, unblemished, win without your colony taking damage. I don't know how strong our railguns are going to be in comparison to what enemies we're going to be faced with. It looks like we don't have a lot of metal, so we need to make the railguns count. Now, generally speaking, with most games of this nature, you want to set up your weapons. I don't... does it tell us? Okay, what kind of range we get with it? Alright, cool, 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 cool. Uh, you want to be able to cover as the most distances you possibly can while they're within a specific area. So, like, ideally, places like this, places like this are going to be your best bets. So, I'm going to go, uh, ideally, like, I would even, I would even venture to say that maybe putting, like, two here wouldn't have been such a bad plan, but I don't, I don't know. Alright, I'm going to plop one there, and I'm going to plop another one down over here. I feel like those are probably the two best points you could possibly put your weapons. We'll see if that is indeed the case. It looks like the masochists are coming. Here they are. Do we have a speed up? We have a slow down button. We could rush wave. Ooh. We gain extra metal for that. Oh, look at this. We got particle lasers. His beam burns through. Let's throw that bad boy up there. Oh, what is this one? An arc projector? Damages multiple enemies with a superheated pulse. Okay. I'm just gonna plop all, all of these up here then. So far, we're handling things just fine. We are starting to get slightly overwhelmed. Alright. So let's go with the particle laser here. And then we'll do another I'm arc. A much larger incoming ship. We'll need more firepower to bring it down than these rail guns. We should construct a particle laser. It's slow to fire. But given enough time, can cut through any hull. That's cool. I'm already way ahead of you, brother. Way ahead of you. I said we rushed the wave. Oh, did, did I just rush double waves? Oh, I think I might have. Alright, let's throw another rat tat banger up in there. Another arc projector. I think that'll be fine. That should be more than enough to deal with all of these. A large swarm of ships is heading toward us. We should build an arc projector to counter them. Though the arc projector is much more expensive than a rail gun, it can damage many enemies with each strike. I feel like we've got this unlocked. Oh god. Look at that. That's crazy sauce. Alright. We've got our double arc projectors. Double railgun. Chrono particle can be activated by pressing the space bar. The game speed will slow down, giving you time to examine enemies and place towers. No, the I use think I'm good. Of chrono shift is limited, but so will simple. replenish over time depending on the difficulty level. I feel like the particle laser is going to be an important one for this. I think we've got it regardless. And I'm sure I'm doing overkill here. But, you know, you, you don't know exactly how strong things are until you do stuff. Can we upgrade towers? Oh, we absolutely can upgrade them. Alright, that's cool. Looks like we need to upgrade our colony to level 2. Oh, we can upgrade our colony already. I don't think we want to do that on this first map. So I'm just going to, I'm going to wait it out. Like I said, I think we have more than enough firepower to take these guys down. If they ever make it past my, my first grouping of bad guys here, uh, we got another grouping of bad guys to take them all down. It's, it's bad guys in the good way. You know? Yeah, they don't seem to stand much of a chance against what we've got going on. Don't 
wonder what energy is for. These only all cost metal. Nothing seems to cost any energy. Well, I'm starting to get a little bit concerned, actually. Maybe we throw another arc projector up just on the off chance that something gets through. Now, they do seem to have to, like, slow down to pile up through here, and it looks like they're still getting kind of obliterated. But our contingency will more than enough take care of it. In fact, I didn't even need to build that. I don't know if I need to build much of any of this stuff. All right, we got a corrosion mortar tower that's now unlocked. First blood is our achievement. It infects targets doing damage over time. Cheap and powerful, but does not stack. So you only want to have one of those every so many feet. I got gotcha. you. Reinforce warps in a squad of heavy frigates to stall the enemy. Interesting. Alright, so I, I was going to assume that I was going to be nowhere near the top of the leaderboards, and that's absolutely true. But I'll take it. Enemies killed, kill score, rush bonus, metal bonus, health bonus. I mean, I feel like we did okay. Uh, looks like our... Looks like our laser turrets did the, the most damage. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. I think that went pretty decent. The enemy is adapted to our war of attrition. Can we withstand their new assault? I don't know. I'm hoping so. Deploy reinforcements three times. Okay. Um, destroy 150 units with arc projectors. Fine. And destroy all enemy waves. I have an upgrade point. How do I use that? I assume under equip? Um, I'm going to go with the arc projector and I'm going to equip upgrade. I don't know what that's going to do. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Allows the arc projector's lightning attack to strike flying enemies. Aren't they all flying enemies? No? Okay. Overloads an enemy causing them to pulse with energy that will damage nearby enemy units. Or conductive coils. Increase the range of the level 2 arc projector by 25% and 50 for the arc th arc projector level 3. I'm going to go with Chain Lightning. That sounds like a cool upgrade. was kind of hoping we would get like just increased flat damage, but you know what? That's okay. Alright, let's launch this bad boy. There were only a few survivors at Limbo. <laughs> Lucky there were even that many. Considering the hell they lived through. Whoever the enemy are, they're relentless. Have the other colonies been as lucky? I hope we are not here too late. Milton has detected signs of life at Circosta. A faint Circosta. radio signal. Husk ordered us to reposition the Carpathia there as soon as the colonists from Limbo are aboard. I still go with Carpathia. What will we find there? No one here is betting on a peaceful reception now. Yeah, I, don't, I, I think the peaceful reception's absolutely the out of the... colonists built a metal refinery here. Oh? It will produce metal, but we need to defend it if we want to keep it. Alright, well, where, where do the enemies come from? Do, do we... Entry point. Okay, so according to the map, the entry point's down here. So they're going to come along this way. They're gonna come down this way, and then they're gonna try to mollywop the snot out of our metal refinery. All right, and then they're gonna come around here and then try to take us down. Okay, okay. Is there a way to upgrade them? Oh, we can upgrade the metal refinery. That's amazing. All right, sorry. I immediately get excited over many, many things. Um, we start off with quite a bit of of metal. I'm gonna start with a corrosive mortar. Okay, and then I'm going to go with our Rat Tat Bang Gun and an Arc Projector maybe? Let's see here. Yeah, that feels good. And maybe another Corrosive Mortar like here-ish. 
The tight pathways of this sector are ideal for the corrosion mortar. I know. It can fire over terrain and soften up the enemy with damage over time. Like I'm picking up what you're putting down, brother. I know what's going on. Alright, so how do we do reinforcement of this? 30 energy? I'm going to drop you right here. I don't even know what you guys do, but do it. Look at him. Look at him. Just, just, just working it. Here, rush another wave. I'm okay with that. Alright. Uh, how far does it, the mortar does not cover as far as I'm told? That does okay. Just in the off chance that they make it that far. It's fine. Um, we're looking at for metal. Okay, okay. Let's, let's upgrade this. Can we upgrade this? Colony 2. Alright, Colony 2 is coming right now. Boom. Upgrade out. Rush There's that wave. There's a lot of hostile contacts incoming on our colony. The reinforcements orbital ability will allow us to intercept the enemy and give our defenses time to take them down. Alright, we're gonna drop some reinforcements again right up in here. I think that's gonna be fine. We're gonna rush this wave too. Feeling pretty good about this. Let's get this going. Some more metal refineries coming out. I think at this point that means we can now start to upgrade things. 60 to upgrade this, and we just hit 60. We'll take a little bit of time. I'd like to get an arc projector here too. Oh no, they're holding them back too far away from where we need them to be. Arc projector, that looks good. I mean, I think we're going to be okay. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm going to dump these guys right here again. We've called in the cavalry several times. Are you already upgraded? It, says, it looks like it says you're Mark II. Alright, we, we've obliterated them. Alright, let's rush to the next wave. This is going to be the final wave coming in. Let's, uh, let's upgrade these guys. Bring in the mortar and let's upgrade this. I don't know how strong any of these guys are going to be. We have plenty of energy left. We're going to go ahead and we're going to drop these guys out once more. We're going to put them up right here, I dare say. And they will roll out forward to slow everybody down. If anyone comes on in, they're going to have to deal with the reinforcements, and I don't see that going their way. Yeah, this is, this is good. I like this. Look at it, just holding them back. They can't get by. Oh, it's so, this is cool. I, I love this, this added thing. You don't really see a lot of this. There's been a few uh, uh, tower-based defense games that had a lot of innovation and stuff over the years. I like this one. I like it a lot. Uh, collect metal from enemies destroyed it within its radius. Okay, that's cool. What else we got? Milton, he's going to show up. Milton can be deployed to deliver devastating firepower, but only lasts a limited duration. All right, looks like our arc towers were actually the big bads in this one. Our mortars did some decent work. Okay, I feel, I feel like that one pretty well. We'll go ahead and we'll probably do one more, that's my guess, and then we'll call a close to this first episode. Destroy all enemy waves, destroy 350 enemies with Milton, okay, okay, and produce 200 metal with the scavenger modules. Okay, that sounds good. Alright, so what do we have for the scavenger, Inter or sorry, intrepid protocol, provides 25% additional metal when rushing waves, maybe. Colony interface, connect to the colony's computer network to assist in its upgrading procedure, reducing the cost by 25%. And metal replication allows the Carpathia to automatically generate additional metal equal to a small percentage of your existing metal stores. Hmm. So essentially, the more metal you have on hand, the more you get. That's interesting. Uh. 
contagion virus, chance of the corruption, uh, the corrosion effects to spread to nearby enemy units. Doesn't it already do that? Oh, it infects targets over time. Okay. Binding agent, uh, complex mixture that increases the duration of the corrosion. And the Apollo reactor, which increases range. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, I'm not sure right now if I want one of those. What about the light rail gun? Shotgun turret, no. Modular railgun upgrades no longer require colony upgrades. Interesting. Piercing piercing shells. So what is this? Next target's up to... Oh, that's the range. 400 damage. 50 damage per hit. 400 damage total over 8 seconds. 25 damage to each. Um, slowing their ooh, I, all right, that's the one. It doesn't even matter what else is there. I like the idea of slowing the movement of like larger ships, which is what I'm assuming is, this is going to actually attack. All right, I think we're good. Let's uh, let's launch this one and see what's up. The enemy units we've designated corrupted healers are most troubling. The technology is human, I swear it. I saw designs and prototypes of these very units tested in the Russian armed forces years ago. Okay. It was Promethean technology, as I recall. What, what do the post-humans have to do with this? We're on to the next colony now. Many colonies seem to have survived contact with the enemy, but all need help. And we still know next to nothing about who we're fighting. Have they stolen the colonists' weapons? They couldn't be the colonists themselves, could they? No. Not possible. These things we fight, they're not human. I feel like that was a little read a little bit weird. They couldn't be the colonists themselves, we have the could Milton they? No. Ability online. Not, they don't have a, a no immediately. Against Fine. swarms of enemies, but will only last a short time. Okay, so Milton there does. There are three pathways oh, into no. this sector. But they converge on a single path. Call yeah. down Milton in this area to hold them off. Okay, so this is the single path down here. What do we have? Is this a metal um, maguber over here? There's a fission reactor. What does that do? Generates energy. Oh. Okay, and how much does a Milton cost? 100 energy. Okay. Okay. Oh boy, um, things just got real, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, they, they were already real. Well, let's 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 be real ourselves here. Um, probably there. I'll pop you there. Pop you there. Man, a corrosive mortar is not all that, uh, that fancy right here. Pop them up there. Oh, there is no... Oh, God, there's no way. I'm gonna drop the Milton immediately. There are no metal refineries in this region, so we should build scavenger modules to increase our income. They generate metal from every enemy destroyed in their radius, but do not stack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I figured I figure that out. All right, all right, all right. So what, what do we need now? Oh, the corrosion mortar may be up over here. We can only deploy Milton and reinforcements if we have enough stored energy. Okay, okay. If we can defend the fission reactor in this region, we'll gain additional energy income. We're colony up higher, but we need other things going our way. Okay, between this and this, other than a spot right there, which I can also put maybe over here or something. We've got this on uh, on lock. Let's rush the wave a little bit. Our Milton's still there. I don't know how much longer he lasts. Oh, right there. 
His HP's ticking down rapidly. He's not gonna last much longer, unfortunately. Another light rail gun. Another one of these bad boys. Alright, Milton, you are donezo for right now. 75 seconds before he's back up. Some more of these guys down. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. And then we can upgrade some other stuff. We are holding them at bay right now. This is nice. It is not the ideal situation, but, you know, it, it's, it's working. Hold him back, as Milton's ready to be deployed again in 40 seconds. He's got to hold the line. Alright, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Upgrading a particle laser. Mark two. Make sure any big bad nasties coming by get get got. We have plenty of energy. We're gonna rush the wave. Nine seconds remain before Milton's ready to come out and play. So no matter what, we should have this. In fact, we might just have it with what we have right now. Doesn't even look like we really need any more. There's 200 and some odd enemies. Are, oh, here we go. Oh, wait, I have to kill X number of enemies with Milton. I'm plopping Milton down right here. He's gonna do some work. Come on, Milton. I believe in you, buddy. Ah, oh, you got it. Yeah. Milton killed all the enemies. Uh oh. Milton, can I move you? <gasps> I can move Milton? Oh my god! That's so cool! Alright, Milton's gonna hang back over here, and now Milton's good. Oh, Milton moves! That's great! I didn't think he did. I, I was actually really surprised that he moved. Oh, Mil Milton's killed way more than he needed to. Alright, the Minos Cannon. The WRX-108 Minos Cannon. Does high damage against heavy targets, but has a long reload. So like a, a cannon, okay. okay. Alright. Oh, I did pretty good that time around. Uh, I was like, what, 1500 on the first one? I didn't even check the last one. 568, that's not too bad. Alright, we're going to hit done, and we're going to break off the first episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a lot of fun. A shout out to Stardock Entertainment once again for sending this my way and letting me uh, showcase it to all of you. Anyway, the game is once again called Siege of Centauri. It is by Stardock Entertainment, and it released on September 12th, 2019, which means you guys can go grab it for yourselves and play it and enjoy it and have fun. As you saw, there are scenarios, there's a campaign... And there's an endless mode. So a lot of stuff still to come, as you can see. Many, many, many battles ahead of us. And a lot of stuff to still unlock. I highly recommend the game. Go check it out if you like tower defense games. Seems like fun. You guys saw the gameplay here, so you know know what's up. And yeah, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video like it always is. And various links and things of that nature. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys and gals. And until the next episode. My name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.